Here. Let's get Look. Do you realize you look like a backstreet butcher, Mr. Morgan? You've been on the run again. Hope we have a better day.
Another beaver hollow morning. Uh, fine morning. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. All right, dear. Just make sure it goes into the pot, and not your pocket. Good job, Mr. Morgan. How are you on space in that bag of yours, Mr. Morgan? Just let me know if you need me to make you a new one. You know, Arthur, I can always make you a new satchel if you're tied on space. You okay, friend? Never better. Dutch! You're breaking his heart. You know that. Did he tell you to say this to me, friend? You're too close. No. But I know. Dutch and that fool at his ear, they're gonna kill every last one of us. I see that now. What did I do to you? Found this. You said you lost yours. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Here, please take this. It's the least I can do. Arthur. Hey, Arthur. You want to talk? You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? <sighs> Acting like a fool. How so? Killing and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It's finally happened. I, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see. Mr. Trelawney, forgive me. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Now, well, let's not get over sentimental. Well, oh, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. 
Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. This way. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Come on, boy. This way. Yeah.
Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Um... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <coughs> Keep breaking oh. peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being... No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Who removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kinda liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kinda stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this... I don't want to kill this man. But shall... Get off me! Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Time to get out of here. Come on. Just let him go, okay? You son of a bitch. Don't be dumb. Let you won't go. get away with Open this. Fire on him. Uh.
shit! They Come on! Me. Captain, can you shoot? I can't do it! They're trying to kill you!
That's it. I can use the company. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. Arthur! at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation at least I still have hope that we can come to an agreement
Here we are. There's my men up ahead. Hello. Hold. Oh. Yeah. We chose a killer now. Kola with Yampi. Pilpo. Unyapi Ktelo. This way. Yep. Mr. Morgan, it's time. Over this way. Is there a problem, Mr. Morgan? Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Uh... <clears throat> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. Is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... <coughs> you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed, or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. High tail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. The treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. Don't get away with this. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Time to get out of here. Come on. Don't be dumb. I'll kill you. I got a shot. Open fire on Quick! 
do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. 
They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? You can't worry about that now. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. So long. <laughs> you just left. You all right? Hello again.
Let's go, boy. Sons of bitches! Relax, all right? There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. Uh, so, 
Either they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they're gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of Saint Denis suits you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this I done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. We all got a job to do. And we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Well, we got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Okay, we're gonna... All right, good. Now... Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. He's cutting in there. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. Let's go. Quiet. Bunch of cops. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts yeah. shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there on one of these verandas. Through a building, maybe, and get him, and do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. Oh, Arthur, there's a ladder. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to Mrs. Adler. Where's this shooter then?
What's this then? Your boss is gonna swing. <laughs> Welcome. There goes your escape plan. Fair citizens of Saint Denis, for as long as any of us can remember, it is justice that separates us from Barbary. Yet justice itself can at times be barbaric. For sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states, seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad. Morgan, you hear us? Take a shot on these O'Driscolls. You won't be very deep, but at least you'll be very right back at them. How you get on, Arthur? Well, we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I, nonetheless, must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you... The world makes sense, but when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm okay, boy. 
follow, Arthur. Wait, come on. Here.
Yep. Come on, boy. Get it. Yeah. 
here. Yeah. Okay, then. So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smell of cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't... Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping them. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. the dynamite, you run the wire. We'll keep lookout from up here. I sent for some of that dynamite you and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. 
Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? We're tying up the loose ends, Archer. One by one. Spotter will let us know when they're near. They're coming now. Ah, oh, damn. The patrol's a lot larger than we thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Don't worry. That's a good thing. Okay, that's the signal. Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No. I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old fat. Humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone just stay calm. We've got the upper hand here. Okay, they've passed. Put your hands up. You're surrounded. Nobody need... Father won't be happy about this. They fire first, son. Take them down. There's another patrol in the rear! You bastards! Watch your head, boys! Look at Watch your head! We didn't find this! We're better trained and done now! There's a lot of them! Look out! They're coming up on our left! Hold your ground! This is bad. This has gone on long enough. Do not walk away from this. It's time you pay for what you've You start this. Is this what you wanted? You fools, you damn fools. It's the army. Of pastry chefs and bullies. Watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We. Have to move now. Search these men quickly, then we move. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? 
They might have information on them that'll help our friends with their cause. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. Find anything? Shit! Everyone, keep your heads down! We're gonna get out of this! What the? Hey, Doc! Are you alright? I think so. Don't pay for that! You think you can take on the U.S. Army? What do we do here, Dutch? This is a lot of men! Just hold your ground! Surrender, and they'll hang you all! Try to flank them, Arthur! We'll shoot you some space! Yes! We need to take out that cannon! Up the hill! The cannon! Take out the spotter, Arthur! Where's Peter? This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave. Now! What about Eagle Fries? We gotta go, Arthur. Come on! This area is gonna be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We gotta leave, now! What about Eagle Fries? We gotta go, Arthur, come on! We need to ride hard, stay with me! Yep. Okay, let's...
Let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. All right. Let's carry on by foot. Try and sell them a little snake oil. If... Shit. I guess not. Get behind something or not. Ah! I'll make sure it works. Captain, keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here! Ask my friend, here. My whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight. This is what we need. Oh, we just escaped from chaos. Eagle flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send them. Where is it? He's probably back at camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up, then go meet him up at the reservation. We are gonna make it, brother. I can feel it. 
Faith, Arthur. Have faith. 